okay guys so in this video we are going to do is 16 so under is 16 we are going to prepare property plant and equipment so i pick a uh, two transaction that we are going to do which is transaction 1.1 and 1.3 okay let's start with the information they said dhl ltd is well established company based in Houghton province dhl ltd was listed on jse ltd in 2015 and the company has year end 31 december so our year end we know that is 31 december but in this case it's 31 december 2021 okay so they said the following information related to 2021 reporting period okay the profit before tax we're not going to use that information under ppe okay number 1.1 they say depreciation on machine uh, which is 550 000 um, for the 2021 reporting period and they said the SARS allow and tears on machine so when it comes to property planning equipment note there is no any column that you are going to record defer tax ignore that you are, you're gonna do that when you are doing a generals okay so they said the machine was originally purchased uh, by amount of five million five hundred and fifty thousand on 1 december 2019 it was by purchased on the previous years so in other words okay in this case they already gave us depreciation for the year under machine uh, it's gonna be five fifty thousand okay no disposal no additional and they said that uh, this machine was purchased by five million five hundred it's our cost price five million five hundred thousand okay and they said that the estimated useful life of this machine was 10 years okay and depreciation was on straight line basis to nil residual value we don't subtract any residual value when we calculate our depreciation on 1 general 2021 the current amount at the beginning at the beginning it was amount of four million nine hundred and four thousand okay our carrying amount it was four million nine hundred and four thousand one sixty seven in other words they want us to calculate this part how are we going to calculate it very simple you have to get the difference between these two amount which you are going to say it Five million five hundred and fifty thousand, and you minus four million nine hundred and four thousand one sixty-seven. You will find that your accumulated depreciation, which was subtracted, it was five ninety-five thousand and eight hundred and thirty-three. So if you take this one minus this one, is going to give you this one. So under our movement, we're gonna have five fifty thousand of negative so cost price at the end because we don't we, we don't have any addition we're gonna have the same amount of five five million five five hundred thousand okay and the accumulated depreciation you need to add opening one and addition plus five fifty thousand it's gonna give you one million one hundred and forty five eight hundred and thirty three and you have to subtract in order for you to get current amount. 550, 5,500,000. It's gonna give you 4,354,167, just like that. Okay, so if you want to verify this current value, what you need to do is to say, current value at the beginning, you less your movement and check if you're gonna get this amount okay we're gonna say 4904 167 minus 550,000 is giving us this current amount once you do that you know that you didn't do any mistake okay now let's move to the tricky one so the tricky one is a plant because it have a lot of information they said on 1 september 2021 dhl ltd purchased machine uh, plant for seven million in this case we need to calculate our cost price first 
our cost price. So maybe back to this case, know that if you were not given this current value, you have to go back to 2019 and calculate depreciation from 2019 until beginning of the year so that you can get this accumulated. Then you calculate current value by saying this one minus this one and you will get this one. Okay, our cost price, the first one we have purchase price, uh, which is, let me change the marker, uh, which is 7 million. And the second one, we have installation, which we also have to include, which is 60,000. Okay, and we also have, they say the plant was ready and available for use on 1 September. We're going to calculate the precession for four months. And they said that uh, the removal of the plant is required by the local environmental authority. In other words, this machine cannot operate without a certificate of allow, uh, of, from the municipality so that they can be allowed to do, to do it. To use this machine, the reason can be probable the machine have some pollution. It can either be in terms of noise, air pollution, or any kind of pollution. It depends on what kind of plant is this. So we have to calculate uh, this as well. They said that, um, what is it? They said that it was estimated that the cost of removing plant is 10 years and will be amount of 450,000. So in other words, they're saying that this 450,000 is future value because it's after 10 years. So cost of dismantling cost, we have to calculate it first which we are going to say this 450,000 is our future value and we have to calculate it in terms of IS 16 we have to recognize only present value because future value include what interest interest and VAT is not allowed under cost price so we are going to say our I if you check on the node they say discount rate is 15% and our N is 10 years, of course, because they said it's going to be dismantled or removed after 10 years. Okay. Our PMT, we're not going to pay anything every month. So this put, make sure that it's negative and calculate present value uh, on your financial calculator. Then it will give you amount of 111,233. Okay. This is our present value, 11, 11, 2, 3, 3. Okay, so if you were doing a journal as well, you were going to be required to calculate interest as well. But there's no interest here. We are not going there. We are only focusing on whatever that is needed on PPE. Okay, then after that, now we can get our cost price by adding all these three items. Okay, let me calculate. 7 million plus 60,000 plus 11, 2, 3, 3. Okay, it's give us 7 million 171 and 2, 3, 3. Okay, so remember this was purchased during the year. It was not there at the beginning, which means that it's addition. 7 million 171, 2, 3, 3. Okay, depreciation, we're going to calculate it. Okay, now let's do it. Depreciation, they say that... Uh, let me go back to transition. They say that uh, SARS allow way and tears. Ignore that. No defect tax under PPE columns. Okay, and they said that... Uh, the production plant is estimated to have 10 years useful life and zero residual value. So when we calculate, there's no residual value that we are going to subtract. Simple means that we're just going to say this amount divided by 10. But multiply by four months, guys. Remember, uh, it was ready and available to use on 1 September. And our year is ending December. September, October, November, December is four months. Okay? Divide by... Divide by 10, multiply by 4 over 12. We're going to get the precession of 239.041. Simple. Then now we are done. Because if we don't have anything to add here, 
we're just gonna get the same amount of 7171233 and we subtract 239041. If you do this, uh, you will get 7171233. You're gonna get 6932192. Very simple, just like that. So I hope you learned something, guys. Please make sure that you subscribe. Go and check other videos. I did this question paper and the, uh, as well as other transaction. And uh, the, I think it's part three of IS12. Please make sure that you go and check that so that you can learn transaction number 1.5 as well because it's under PPE. I'm going to see you on the next video.